Hi guys, um, long time no used to watch these vlogs before they they started out as a weekly glimpse behind the scenes of um, Girl Tweets world and my life as a travel blogger and then they changed to a monthly vlog and then um, yeah I've been a little bit absent for the last couple of months so massive apologies I am um, I want to say thank you to everybody who completed my recent reader survey because the reader, reason I'm back here um, chatting away to my iPhone now is because one of the things that came out of that survey is that you actually quite enjoyed these vlogs. So thank you for providing me with that information. I am more than happy to provide you with um, the content you want to see. That's what I aim to deliver. So hi, I'm back. Um, what have, I, what have I been up to? Um, what haven't I been? Um, the truth is, is I've been quite um, occupied with the last couple of months with the work that pays my bread and butter. And that is uh, primar primarily social media consulting. So I about three months ago, I took on a new client here in Australia. Um, they're a retail lifestyle brand. And I did a massive audit and overhaul of their social media strategy and then they asked me to implement it. So I'm rolling that out at the moment. Um, I'm also helping them where I get their blog set up and write for their blog. And it's been, it's been great. It's also been quite a learning curve. I've always worked in the travel industry. So it's been a, a fun, um, refreshing and new challenge for me to uh, talk about things such as kitchens and fridges and ovens and get people engaging on those topics as opposed to you know Thailand and other gorgeous destinations which is what I'm used to talking about on social media so that's going good uh, that's my big Australian uh, client work um, I still work with a lovely client who I've worked with for about a year in the UK called Moodaway um, and they are a, a travel planning uh, website that create digital mood boards and they're beautiful we're, we're just getting ready to go live with the site now so I'm working with them on a mixture of social media and blogger outreach and if anybody here would like an invite to the private beta let me know um, yeah that's rolling out at the moment so they're my worky bits um, of course I I still run Girl Tweets World and I have some great projects going on there um, I co-hosted a Twitter chat with Lonely Planet, which was just insane. Um, they have three million followers. I I thought I had quite a, an active Twitter account, and phew, that's nothing compared to these guys. So um, that was wonderful. I co-hosted a chat on travel books and films, and um, it, yeah, really good answers. Learned a lot. Um, had good fun. Um, also did a fun little project with Skyscanner, part of their 24-hour um, Periscope. I was one of their Sydney hosts, so 24 different bloggers around the world took turns to host the Skyscanner Periscope channel and show people around their part of the world. So um, yeah, I, I did a little tour of Alexandria and Newtown, and that was great fun. That's about 300 people at one stage watching live. Um, me wandering around the streets art, street art um, alleyways of Newtown so that's quite a good buzz I if any of you have dabbled with Periscope or are thinking about dabbling with Periscope I really recommend it it's um, it's yeah fantastic to have that live interaction and as a travel blogger I think being able to take someone to the destination with you right there and then um, is a wonderful tool so as long as you've got the Wi-Fi and network coverage I had a, had a few issues on the day with mine but um, yeah make sure you've got that network because it's a fantastic tool to to use for your followers so yeah that was those cool projects I also I think since I've last vlogged launched um, my Sydney guide ebook that was again another fantastic learning experience um, I think I probably will do a vlog if anyone's interested on what I learnt about uh, self-publishing because it was my very first time and um, yeah 
I wouldn't say mistakes were made, but I, there's definitely improvements and learnings that I took from that that I will hopefully use for any um, guides or books I want to self-publish in future. So yeah, if you're interested, let me know and I'll, I'll perhaps film a vlog in a couple of weeks on how to self-publish. So, work, busy, um, I had some really good news recently. I entered a contest in association with Pro Blogger. Um, I didn't get to attend the event this year because of all the stuff I've just mentioned prior, but they had a contest in association with Virgin Australia that was open to uh, previous and uh, present um, Pro Blogger attendees. And the prize was a whopping 250,000 velocity points and gold status for the year. Um, there, they had hundreds of entries. I found out I was in the top 10 and then they picked three overall winners for this great prize and I was one of them. So um, I felt sick with nerves on the day and didn't want to think too much about it but got some lovely tweets and messages from my friends who were at the conference saying, you jammy um, B-I-T-C-H, you have won the prize. So that's great news for um, my partner and I because we're currently planning a wedding and being one Aussie and one Brit it will be a destination wedding and so now we hopefully are going to use those points to fly somewhere in style so thank you for Pro Blogger and thank you Virgin Australia um, I'm also really intrigued to see what it means to have gold status because despite my years of being a travel blogger um, I'm a little bit fickle and have not really travelled much with any one airline, so I, I don't have um, airline status with anyone. So it'd be nice to see what some of the perks of that are. Um, and I'll, I'll keep you informed with, you know, humble brags, uh, not too much boasting, hopefully. So, um, yeah, a great contest. And, um, yeah, thank you. Very overjoyed um, to be one of the winners. So... Coming up, I've actually got a few trips planned. I my, my schedule for the next few weeks involves the Gold Coast, Brisbane, a cruise back to Sydney, hopefully a trip to Red Centre and Uluru, and also planning to attend uh, TBAX, the travel blogging conference in Thailand. So um, yeah, I can test out my gold status, um, status, sorry, Aussie thing coming out there. Um, test out my gold status on um, some of these upcoming trips and uh, yeah provide you with lots more travel content so um, one of the things you've probably noticed since moving from London to Australia is that it's not quite as easy to hop to a different country every weekend but there is so much within Australia to explore and I'm really going to try my best to get out and see as much of it as possible over the next couple of months so that I can keep writing and sharing travel tips which is another thing I know you guys enjoy because you said so in the reader survey. So yeah, only other big thing on my list at the moment is that wedding that I mentioned. So um, if anyone is considering a destination wedding and thinks that it's the easy option, I can tell you for a fact it is not. Um, I don't think there's any easy option for planning a wedding and no matter how laid back and low-key a bride you imagine yourself to be as soon as you get involved in those logistics things snowball um so yeah we've got justin and i are in sydney our family are in london um and his are in melbourne and we, we need to have a wedding somewhere that brings or ideally brings all of our close fat friends and family together in one place um, where that place will be has been a huge area of debate and research and um, yeah just a logistical nightmare really so yeah hopefully we'll get it sorted um, some someday soon and then I can move on with all the other planning that goes into um, pulling, off, pulling off a wedding and all the fun bits like sorting up dresses and flowers but um, yeah, that just sort of comes, well, sixth place on my list. So um, yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, 
I hope I didn't talk too fast. I've had three coffees and um, I'm just trying to shoot this vlog before I start something else um, because yeah, as, as we know from uh, my confession at the start, sometimes the, the weeks can slip by before I'm here again. So yeah, that's me, 10 minutes all up. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll be back um, very soon with a more constructive vlog on yeah the topic of how to self-publish. See you guys!